everyone, I'm your agent Lee and I'm back with a book for you and it's called The Seventh Wave by Daniel Glatauer. So, besides the beautiful colour, it's also a really good read. I think I've read it in like a day and it's um, mostly in conversational emails between two people and uh, it's about Leo and Emmy who met online and then, well, got to hear for yourself. Show you again the cover because I think it is really pretty and special. I'm not judging the book by its cover, but I bloody like the cover. So, have you ever just clicked with someone? Emmy and Leo met, fell in love and broke up via email. After a year of silence, they find themselves in contact once more. Yet, Emmy is still married to Bernard, and Leo is just back from Boston with Pamela, his American girlfriend. As the emails grow increasingly passionate, Emmy and Leo are faced with a difficult decision. Could their romance survive the transition from digital to actual? Or is it the distance that is keeping them together? Do you want to hear what the Daily Mirror has to say? I'm going to tell you anyway. Short, striking and snappily written. And Time Out said, I couldn't put it down. Like a jilted lover, when I reached the end, I wanted more. That was Daniel Goldstein by Time Out. And I agree with her. You just read it almost in one go and you're like, oh, I want more. It's like if you have a bag of chips and you eat one. It's never going to be the one, is it? So, to give you a little taste, I'm going to read you a little bit from chapter one. Three weeks later, subject, hello. Hello. Ten seconds later, subject, delivery status notification, returned. This is an automatically generated delivery status notification. This email address has changed. The recipient can no longer receive mail sent to this address. All incoming mail will be deleted automatically for any queries. Please contact the system manager. Half a year later, subject. No subject. Hello! Exclamation mark. Ten seconds later. Subject. Delivery status notification returned. This is an automatic generation delivery status notification. This email address has changed. The recipient can no longer receive mail sent to this address. All incoming mail will be deleted automatically for any queries Please contact the system administration, system manager, same thing. 30 seconds later, re will this never stop? 10 seconds later, subject delivery status notification returns. Blah, 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 you know? Three days later, subject query. Good evening, Mr. System Manager. How are you? Quite chilly for March, don't you think? Still, after such a mild winter, I don't think we should complain. Oh yes, since I'm here, I'd be grateful if you'd answer a query. We have an acquaintance in common. His name is Leo Lakey. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I appear to have mislaid his current email address. Would you be so kind and possibly? Many thanks. With the warmest virtual wishes, Emmy Rodner. Ten seconds later, subject. Delivery status notification return. And blah, 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 blah. You know the tune. Thirty seconds later. Do you mind if I give you some constructive criticism? You're being a tiny bit repetitive. Enjoy your night shine. By Emmy Rogner. Ten seconds later. 
delivery status, notification return, so on, so on. Four days later. Subject, three questions. Dear system manager, I'm going to be honest with you. This is an emergency. I need the current email address of user Leo Leike and I need it badly. I have three questions I urgently need to ask him. One, is he alive? Two, is he still in Boston? Three, is he involved in an email relationship with someone else? If the answer to one is yes, I would forgive him. Two, but I could never forgive. Three, I don't mind if over the past half year he's tried to get together with Marlene 15 times. I don't mind if he's flown her into Boston on a daily basis. I don't mind if he spent his nights hanging out in sleazy Boston plush bars. Woken up every morning wedged between the rock hot breasts of some boring Barbie blonde. I wouldn't even mind if it pulled off three marriages and had three sets of non-identical triplets. But there's one thing I would mind. If he had fallen in love by email with any other woman he had ever set eyes on. Anything but that, please. That has to be a once in a life, li lifetime thing. I need to be sure of this if I'm going to get through these nights in one piece. The north wind is blowing relentlessly. Dear Mr. System Manager, I think I can guess more or less what your reply will be, but I'll ask you anyway. Be a devil and pass on my message to Leo Leike. I'm sure you're in regular contact with him. Tell him it's about time he got in touch. Do it. You'll feel better for it, okay? Now you can say your piece again. Best wishes, Emmy Rotten. Ten seconds later. Delivery status notification returned. So, what do you think? I think it has given you already a little taste of the smart, funny and also crit criticism character of Emmy Rodner. I like her mind, I like how she thinks, and she's a bit sassy and yeah, I like her. But you also should have to know what Leo has to say to all of this. But for this, you have to read it. So, the seventh weight from Daniel Gladtower. If you like it, or if you don't like it, leave a comment. Or you can also message me if you have a tip for another kind of book. Open for any new kind of tips. So, have a lovely day. Bye.